vectors. This is a nightmare topic. Most people hate it, but it's been left for paper three. Let's use this question to explore a bunch of the key points. The question says that O A B C is a trapezium. We're told that O to A is A, A to B is B, O to C is 3B. We're then told that D is the point on OB such that the ratio of O to D to D to B is 2 to 3. And E is the point on BC such the ratio of B to E to E to C is 1 to 4. We're asked in this question to work out the vector D to E in terms of A and B giving our answer in its simplest form. First off, how are we going to think about this? Well, how can we go from D to E? Ideally, we'd go directly, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go in terms of two other vectors that we either know or that we can work out. I'm going to firstly start off by thinking of D to E, the vector, as going from D to B and then from B to E. So we can write out that the vector D to E, so D to E, is equal to going from D to B, so D to B, and then going from B to E, so B to E. So that's the first thing. Now we need to have a think about how we can work out D to B and B to E. Well, we know that D is the point on OB such that the ratio of O to D to D to B is two to three. How many parts does that ratio have in total? It has five. How many of those go to O to D? It's two. So essentially O to D is two fifths of the overall line and that leaves three fifths for D to B. So we can write that O to D is two fifths of the distance and D to B is three fifths of the distance. I'm going to try and keep this as neat as possible, guys. What about the uh, B to E? Well, we know that the ratio B to E to E to C is one to four. So in the same way, five parts this time, but B to E is one of them. So it's going to be one fifth of the total and E to C is going to be four fifths. Now, why is this helpful? This is going to allow us to rewrite D to E in terms of two things that we can work out. Why? Well, D to B is just going to be three fifths of the overall vector from O to B. So we can write out, I just need to make sure this stays on the screen. D to E is equal to three fifths of, it's going to be O to B. So I'm going to write that in with an arrow. Plus, it's going to be one fifth, one fifth of B to C. So this overall distance B to C uh, plus one fifth of B to C. Now we can work these out. What is the vector O to B? Well, the vector O to B, I'm just going to switch to a different color here. The vector O to B, that is going to be equal to O to B. That's the same as going from O to A and then A to B. So it's going to be A plus B. So we can write this as A plus B. And what about the vector B to C? Well, the vector B to C, to get from B to C, ideally we just go straight there, but we're going to have to go instead from B to A, then from A to O, then from O 